Hey guys, welcome to Studio SNC. Let's get started today in all fours. So make your way onto your hands and your knees. And we're gonna start with a simple cat cow. So hands in line with your shoulders, your wrist tracking your elbows, and then have a glance between your legs. There should be a gap between the knees, a hip width gap. Spreading those fingers, middle fingers facing forward. As you breathe in, lift the head, you're squeezing your shoulder blades together, your belly is dipping, your bum rising, extension of the spine. As you breathe out, so through the mouth if you can, round like an angry cat, into flexion of the spine, sending space between the vertebrae. Inhaling, lifting the head, that extension, and then exhale, tucking through the tail, rounding like an angry cat. Inhaling through the nose, sending breath into all of that space in the front of the body. And then breathing out, rounding. Breathing out, squeezing the exhale out. Releasing into somewhat of a neutral or a natural spine. Gently shift the weight from left to right or right to left. The weight going to the right hand, the right knee, and then the left hand and the left knee. And then we come back through the center, inhale, sink the hips back, feel the stretch in the shoulders, the upper back, the chest, the armpits. Holding here for one more second, and then we send the weight forward. Tuck the toes under, tuck the tail under your posterior pelvic tilt. Inhale, we hover the knees off the floor a couple of inches. Exhale, we lower them down. Breathing in, hover the knees off the floor and breathe out, release down. Inhale, knees hovering off the floor and breathe out, release down. Inhale, hover those knees up and exhale, release down. Two more, breathing in, hover and breathe out, lower. One last time, inhale, knees hover and exhale, knees lower. Keep the toes tucked and send your bum or your weight or your hips back to your heels. Take a deep breath in here and then breathe out, shift the body weight forward. Lowering down onto your forearms and your elbows. Entwine those fingers, send the knees back, untuck the toes. Finding that posterior pelvic tilt, we tuck the tail under and we send the weight forward to form a half plank position. So holding here for three breath cycles. In through the nose and out through the mouth with a HA sound. <sighs> Feeling the strength in the shoulders, the upper back. Feeling that strength in your lower back as your tail is tucked under, you're protecting your spine. Now last breath in and then breathe out, lower the hips to the floor. Finding your position for single leg kick. Middle fingers facing forward, chest is open, pull the elbows in towards the ribs. Legs are a little wider than hip width or hip width apart. Breathe in, kick twice with the right heel and then release. Breathe in twice with the left heel and release. So feeling the stretch in the front of the legs, melting the pelvic region into the floor. I'm not straining to look up, just your gaze slightly ahead of those thumbs your neck in that natural line or a curve along with your spine, keep it long. Think of drawing the shoulder blades back and down the back of the rib cage. Send your collarbone, collarbones, <laughs> you're sending your breastbone forward. So the chest coming forward in between those arms and then you're pulling the elbows back, increasing the tension in the shoulders and that shoulder blade region and the left leg. So one more time, breathing in, right leg kick, kick, and release. Inhale, left leg kick, kick, and release. Move the forearms apart to allow the chest to find the floor here. We're gonna inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, lower the chest, lift your right leg. So chest lifts, two legs on the floor, chest lowers, lift the left leg. Breathing in, the chest lifts, and exhale, right leg lift. So normally we do it the opposite way where we lift a leg as we lift the chest. This time as we lower the chest, you lift a leg. As you lift the chest, you lower the leg. So it's backwards, which makes you have to concentrate more 
So you're lifting one leg as the chest lowers. It's like a very gentle swan dive, one leg. Chest comes up and then the left leg lifts as you lower the chest. Chest comes up and then as you lower that chest, your right leg lifts. One last time with that left leg. From here, we slide the hands in underneath the shoulders. So we're gonna peel the chest up as far as you're comfortable with. Inhale, as you exhale, lower the chest, lift the two legs. Lift the chest up, breathe in, drop those elbows, lower the chest, legs lift. Now, if the leg lift is uncomfortable, the two at the same time, you can reverse to that one leg or you can bring your forearms or place your forearms back down on the mat like we did at the start. So we're increasing the extension in the spine here, shortening the vertebrae. And if that doesn't feel nice on the spine, then you lower those forearms, lift one leg at a time, or leave the legs out of it all together and focus on that upper part. Okay, two, and last one, and release. From here, hands are in underneath the shoulders, deep breath in, exhale, push yourself up, reach those hips back. So allowing your arms to slide in so that your heels can rest, or your bum can rest on your heels, add a gentle sway here from side to side. And then we slowly flip over onto your bum. Okay, from here, hands to the backs of the legs. Feet are hip width apart, find that strong, long line posture. So your straight posture here. We breathe in, change the shape, drop down off the sit bones, your posterior pelvic tilt. Exhale, we bring it up. Nice tall spine, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, you drop down, this time tuck the chin in, creating more of a round shape in the back. And then exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the chest, Lift the chin as well, creating extension in the spine with a bit of resistance. So using your hands and your legs to work against each other. You're anchoring with the legs as you drop back and then with them again as you lift through the chest. Last two here, flexion of the spine, dropping back off the sit bones. Inhale, extension of the spine coming up high on the sit, sit bones. Inhale, dropping down off the sit bones, rounding the arms long. Exhale out, <sighs> lifting it up. From here we round, we stay round and we lift those feet, challenge your balance, pull the elbows in, breathe in, rock back. Exhale, roll up. Maintain the same shape throughout the exercise, keeping the spine round, not missing any parts of the back on the way down or on the way up. The legs not helping you, so don't let those legs straighten. Don't let the distance between your knees and your upper body change. Last two. And up, one last time, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, feet find the floor. We lower all the way down onto the mat. From here, flip the palms up towards the ceiling. Slide those heels in closer to your hips, tuck the chin. Breathe in, we press the lower back down. Exhale, we just release. So that pelvic tilt again, press the lower back down. Pubic bone lifts, hip bones drop. And then the other way, your anterior pelvic tilt, pubic bone drops and the hip bones rise. So breathing in, pressing the lower back into the floor, feel like the feet want to push and follow through into shoulder bridge. And then exhale, you can feel that release, your head being pulled closer to the midline as you shorten through that lower back with the vertebrae moving closer together. Head moving further away as you press the lower back down. And release one more time, breathe in, press the lower back down, lengthening through the spine, shortening through the front of the body. And then breathing out, shortening through the lower back and lengthening through the front of the body. Lower back to the floor, now widen those arms a little bit more. Two legs, find tabletop, knees in line with the hips. Easier, just draw the knees closer, keep that wide angle. Knees go to the right and the next inhale, look to the left. Use that exhale to take the weight of the legs back through the center. Inhale, knees go to the left, turn your head to the right. 
and breathe out as you come back through the middle. Breathing in as we twist, looking over the opposite shoulder, but if that's a distraction from the lower leg or the lower part of your body movement, just look up towards the ceiling and forget about that neck movement. Don't let the calves get lazy here, so don't let them drop down closer to your hamstrings. So you're gonna keep the legs strong. Inhale as you twist. Breathe out back through the center. Inhale as we twist the other way. And then breathe out back through the center. So you notice your side back muscles working, but especially those obliques. See if you can send those knees closer to the floor. And breathe out back through the center. Inhale as you twist and breathe out back through the center one last time. Knees go to the right, turn the head to the left, but it's optional, back through the middle, and then knees to the left, turn your head to the right, and then back through the center. From here, we stretch the fingertips away, palms are up, and we toe tap. So that movement's coming from the hips. The lower back is on the floor, you're engaging your tummy muscles, see if you can peel every part of the back of the rib cage off the floor. You wanna lift up, make yourself short in the front, Long in the back, movement from the hips. You're gonna feel it in those lower tummy muscles. Palms are open, fingers spread. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. <sighs> Inhaling, filling up the rib cage and exhaling, letting go completely. Last two breath cycles. One more. Okay, lower the head for a second, two legs stay in tabletop. From here we lift up again, extend the legs if you wanna make it more challenging and flex the feet. Reach to the right and then to the left. So you're adding that twist, crunching the obliques and it's quite difficult. So your easier version, bend the knees. You're trying to reach the back wall. Try not to also pull the shoulders up towards the ears. I'm gonna just crunch from side to side. Two more, right and left, and relax. Hook the knees into the chest. Take hold of the kneecaps here, widen them hip width apart, and then create that circle with your knees, massaging the base of the spine. Change direction, go the opposite way. Heels together, hands to the back of the head, find that sit-up position. Cradle the head, lift through the head and the chest, lift the calves up, lift the heels up. Now breathe in, lift the tail. Exhale, we stretch and squeeze. Breathe in, lift the tail. So that reverse curl, making it as extreme as you can. Trying to knee your elbows or knee your shoulders and then stretching everything out. On the exhale, breathe in, peel and breathe out, squeeze. Breathe in, lift and stretch it out. Blasting those lower tummy muscles and then creating lots of length in the lower back. If you need to, you can lower the head and keep the hands to the back of the head for support. One last time and relax. Hug the knees into the chest, gentle rock from side to side. Cross the ankles, pull the knees in, deep breath in. Exhale, rock up into a seated position. So, crossing the ankles as much as you possibly can here. Hands to the knees, allow the upper body fall forward. Take a deep breath in. And then breathe out, we bring it up. Make a stop sign or a cactus-like shape with your arms. And then we're gonna twist. So find that tall spine, we breathe in, twist to the right. Breathe out back through the center, inhale, twist to the left, and then back through the middle. So you're twisting from the waist. The arms are coming with you, as is the head. The movement itself is a twist from the waist, so it's called spine twist. You're breathing in, twisting, keep the lower part of your body strong and steady, and you won't be able to go too far. Keep that long spine. If your arms are getting tired, cross them over your chest so they're not a distraction and your nose stays in line with your breastbone. Breathing in as you twist and breathe out back through the center or breathe in your own time but aiming to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Long conscious breaths your lateral thoracic breathing, where you're engaging your core and sending the breath into the top, into your rib cage. Last time here. And then to your left, 
back to the middle. Hands come behind the hips, uncross the ankles, feet flat on the floor. We lift the hips, we lower down. We're gonna move a little faster than normal. So breathe whatever way you can, but send that chest right up toward the ceiling. Squeeze through the glutes. And then if you wanna add to it, lift those heels and lower the heels, getting movement into the lower legs and the feet. Use every part of your fingers, your hands. Using your hands, strengthening through the wrists. Last three, lift, lower down. Don't let the shoulders get tired. Lift and lower down. One last time, lift it up and lower it down. From here, hands find the backs of the legs. We roll onto our back. Extend the right leg up toward the ceiling. Hover the left leg off the floor. Point the toes. From here, keep the hands at the back of the right leg. Flex through that right foot. We bend the left knee in. We extend it out. So left knee in line with the left hip and then stretch it out. Keep stretching at the same time. The right leg, imagine you're sending your left foot through something resistant like treacle or honey. If you need to make it easier, you stretch that leg a little higher. Last two. Inhale. And one last time, breathe out, stretch. And inhale, switch legs straight away. So we got that left leg up towards the ceiling, right leg hovering off the floor, flex through the left foot, bend your right knee in, in line with the hip, extend it out, maybe go low, maybe go a bit higher, but always remember, you're stretching it through something, not air, something a little denser, so that there's a bit of resistance. Breathe out, extend and lower, and then inhale, bend it in. Breathe out, stretch, send the leg low, and then we bend it in. Breathe out, stretch, and inhale, bend. Last two here, breathe out, stretch, and inhale, bend. One last time, exhale, stretch, and inhale, bend. Two legs up towards the ceiling now. Circle the ankles, get rid of any clicks, and then join the legs together. Pushing up with the heels, arms down by your side, chin tucked. Inhale, peel the lower back up. Exhale, lower it down. See if you can come up a little higher now. Sending the legs over your head and then release down. So it doesn't have to be the whole way. It can be a little bit of that lower back. And then release, breathing in. Maybe it's the whole back and the legs go over the head. If they do, come down slower. Keep the head on the floor. Breathing in, lifting up, and breathing out, guiding the spine down. Breathing in, lifting, keeping the length neck, length in the neck, and exhaling, guiding the spine down. Two to go. Inhale, maybe it's this, and lower it down, and maybe it's just the tail as you lift, and then release with control. From here, bend the knees, feet flat on the floor. Add a gentle right left massage of the hips, the lower back, and then allow your body to find a shape. It doesn't matter what it is, let the head feel heavy, let the arms, the legs feel heavy. Allowing everything to slow, the mind, the breath, the muscles, the bones, the skin, Allowing yourself to feel heavy and let go on every level. Surrendering to your mass.
Now coming back to yourself, coming back to your body, allowing that head to move again, your fingers, your to toes, to your toes to wiggle. Stretch the arms and the legs out straight, arms overhead, legs long, take a deep breath in, feel the length of the body and breathe out, allow everything to soften. Do this again, deep breath in, stretching and breathe out, release. Draw your knees into your chest one at a time, hands to the backs of the legs, rock from side to side. And then take your time, breathing in, exhaling, coming up into a seated position. Well done, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.